you want to be on offense. Right. You want to be out there doing as much as you can and, and really working your community hard and being that helping hand. Because I'll tell you right now, people are going to remember who stepped up to the plate for their community over the next four, six, eight weeks. Right. And they're going to remember who was taking advantage of the moment. This is Byron Lazine and Nicole White, and you are tuned into episode 112 of The Real Word. Word is up. I thought we were at 109. Uh, that, was, that was a few ago. Hmm. Exactly a few ago. It's only Tuesday, and I've been quarantined for what? What's Three, four now? days. You're losing your mind? I am. Well, we didn't so, have school on Friday. So. I think when we opened up the show last week, we said, hey, we're not going to talk about it at all. Obviously, we're going to talk about it this week. We maybe were even a little bit... Uh, inconsiderate of the situation when we first came on last well, week. Well, I think many people were probably, well, I think you were just sick of hearing about it. It wasn't in our faces. Yeah. It had zero impact on us yet. And now obviously the it's entire in, impacting everybody. world has changed. Yes. Everybody's world here in America for sure has changed since Wednesday. We record this show on Tuesdays every single week. And then it usually goes out on Wednesday. And by Wednesday night, you know, the NBA shut down and, and from there on, that's kind of like the starting point of yeah. reality for, for me anyways. Did you we, run to the supermarket or anything? I've been to the supermarket a few times. Yeah, not yeah. hoarding, just getting little things here and there. Right. Yep. But uh, at the end of this show, we'll I'm talk in about uh, instead of the marketeer of the week, what to do and what not to do in terms of the right way to deliver messages uh, in, in our opinions, right? These are just opinions. Uh, as always, these, nothing here is more than an opinion on the real word right. ever. Uh, so we'll talk about that in place of, of the marketeer. But we do have two rackets we want to get through. Uh, the number one racket is from Realtor Mag. Go and throw, throw in Realtor Mag some love. Well, you know? Got to spread the love. We got right to support our realtors. We got a Realtor Mag and an Inman article. Uh, first one's from, from Realtor Mag. The... I'm just gonna call it the situation. Okay. I think if we use that word, then they're gonna take our video down. I've seen some of that. I'm sorry? Yeah, well, if, if you, uh, have you seen any of that? They're like taking things down if, if you use the word. the C word? The C word. Really? So the C word forces culture change. Interesting. In real estate. And so, I mean, when you think about what's happened since this point last week, seven days to today, if all these things happened in one year, in 365 day period, you would say it's the craziest uh, year ever in history. And, and this stuff's been compacted in a seven day time period. Mm -hmm. So some of the information that you keep seeing, this could be outdated by the time you watch this video tomorrow. Oh, point. it's certainly gonna be outdated. Right? Yeah. And, and so everything is moving so quickly. Up until this point last week here, showing time, Okay, so, so this article stating that uh, we're, we're seeing a culture change in real estate. Showing time reports that over the last week, they have not seen a decrease in showings at all. Uh, really at all for where we are this time of year coming into what's traditionally a great spring market. I know we were about to have our best spring market of all time. Poor I us. I know, Connecticut was coming back. Yeah, it was coming <laughs> back hard for sure. But you know what's interesting? That stat holds true for us here locally in Connecticut. We didn't see any drop off in showings yet. I, I do imagine, I'm just going to be real here. This is going to be scary for some people. I do imagine there's, there's going to be a point in time where things do stop for a little bit. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. I'm, I'm kind of surprised on how much activity we've seen locally. There's still people listing. I have some people that still want to list, to be honest. Um, I do know that, that my some of my sellers are requesting like virtual but, tours before they come in, but but it's not just the listings. I mean, you guys know if you're watching this show, if you're an agent, showing time is what we use to schedule showings. Buyers are scheduling showings all the time, and buyers are buying properties. We're seeing properties go under contract a lot. I mean, we had 13 in the last week. We had right. a crazy number just for our small team in the last week. So there are a lot of buyers out there. There's huge demand right now. Now, does that continue? We don't know. 16% um, of realtors nationwide report reduced 
buyer interest. So in certain areas, there is, you know, I could imagine in San Francisco, they were already before this seeing right. a reduction in, in interest. Well, they're in of, lockdown mode. I mean, they can't even leave their houses yeah, right now. Yeah, exactly. Um, but because of where their prices went, they were already seeing reduced interest and lower prices for the first time before all of this started to happen. And now in lockdown, I would imagine there's not a ton of, of buyer interest, um, unfortunately. Uh, NAR chief economists, we've talked about uh, this individual, Lawrence Young, before. He predicts uh, that seasonal home sales could tumble about 10% due to the fears. Makes sense. For sure. Uh, I mean, I think- Well, you're just losing days, really. Yeah. And, and then the article goes on to talk about how some of the brokerages are responding. I know our broker sent out a letter and a video mm -hmm. yesterday across the country. All the brokers are, are doing the same in terms of what offices are staying open, what offices are closed. Or what they're recommending for open houses or how to do all of that too. Yeah, that was interesting too that, you know, there was an article on Inman that talked about open houses over the weekend taking a big hit. Ours didn't. Uh, we had less open houses open, but we still had people coming through. Uh, I think we've got to get innovative for sure as a, as a real estate community. How many open houses can, can you host? And you could probably host more per week by doing them virtually, doing walkthroughs, scheduling Facebook Live. Beautiful thing is we've got a lot of technology to go through this, and, and there's no reason we can't speak to the consumer, educate the consumer. and. and and have fun with it in the sense that I wouldn't say, I wouldn't do cheesy marketing like let's get your house open house ready or something like that. I do, hey, if, you're, if you've already watched everything on Netflix, today at four o'clock, I'm gonna be doing a virtual tour. If you're bored out of your mind, check it out. Right. Right, like just light stuff that's positive, yeah. uh, that continues to push the message. You have to continue to work your craft. Nobody in real estate, People that don't know that are watching the show that are an agent or are aspiring to be an agent. This is a hundred percent commission business. You know, you, you, we can't apply for unemployment. Right. We can't. Um, the, you don't work. You don't get paid. So if you're not closing deals, you're not getting paid. That's just just the way it is. And so you got to keep working. You got to keep talking to people. You got to keep communicating. That's the big. Not that that's a culture shift. Agents should always be communicating. But right now, it's time to over communicate. It's time to reach out to more people. Let them know that you're here. Not, hey, are you ready to buy or sell? Hey, I'm here for you if you need anything. Right. These are people in your community. And I know Tom Ferry, who you guys know, I'm his number one fan. I'm a huge fan of TF. And, and he said, are you going to be a lion or a lamb right now? I think, yeah, every, every agent out there has got to be a lion. We talked about leadership a couple episodes ago, or maybe right. it was last episode yep. even talked about leadership traits in real estate. Right now it's time to be an absolute leader in your community. So you wanna be a lion in terms of protecting your team, your staff, the people you work with, your clients, your family, your direct community, and everything else can take a pause for a minute. Right. Right. Yeah. I don't think you need to be a lion with your expenses. So there, there's two ways to look at that. You may wanna be a lamb, with some of your unnecessary expenses right now. Just the way it is. You wanna be on offense. Right. You wanna be out there doing as much as you can and, and really working your community hard and being that helping hand. Because I'll tell you right now, people are gonna remember who stepped up to the plate for their community over the next four, six, eight weeks. Right. And they're gonna remember who was taking advantage of the moment. All right, so be on the right side of history. This is not a racket. No, none of these are really rackets. I mean, none of this is a racket at this point. I mean, it's all reality. I mean, I think the scariest part, though, too, is even once we get through this, you know, what will people have left? You know, will the buyers that were originally buying, can they still buy? Can they still afford to buy? So, I mean, it's certainly going to last yep. well beyond. Racket number two, Inman article, it's probably fine in other places too, but uh, you can read Gary Keller's advice to his agents on navigating market uncertainty. Uh, and again, I mentioned our, our broker sent out a message. I'm sure all your brokers sent out messages. I thought this letter really hit home. Uh, Gary Keller always has a pretty uh, profound way of, of positioning his message. I'm going to read you the first two paragraphs. Make no mistake, we're in a shift. It's a different one than we've ever seen before. Its cause in and of itself warrants caution. We owe that to ourselves and everyone around us. The health challenge that has shown up in our lives 
is very real. It must be respected and we must take all necessary actions to keep each other safe. The economic effect of this challenge is both uniquely real and surprisingly familiar. Those of us that remember right. uh, 08. It's called a shift, an economic shift. It isn't the first one and it certainly won't be the last. So remember that we're going to get through this. Shift happens. Ooh, I, I like, like it. That. Shift happens. Mm -hmm, a good shift one. happens. Mm -hmm. Take the F out. And when it does, you must shift with it. You need to pivot quickly. If you don't take action, you're literally turning your business into a game of chance. And there's no reason to do that. The actions are simple and highly affected. Effective. They've been time tested and proven. Make no mistake, you need to pivot. You need to pivot today. Today. And, and you know, he goes on, he's got four key points here. Wake up and pay attention, number one. Learn to live on less, number two. I'm gonna touch on more. I know I touched on that a little bit here in Racket One. I'm gonna touch on more of that right now. Double down on leads and lean into the market of the moment. Let's go through that, Nicole. Wake up and pay attention. What does that mean for you and what should it mean for everybody watching this? Holy hell, I didn't read the article. Well, just, just that. Wake up and pay attention. You know what's going on. What does that mean when you hear that? Well, I think the biggest thing, well, when I hear, I mean, I think that um, <laughs> obviously as a, I'm, I mean, we're parents and we've got kids yeah. at home. So obviously it's, it's sometimes a little bit more difficult to actually sort of do that. But I think it's more important now than ever to, um, you know, in my mind, pay attention to my business, pay attention, like you were saying before, to my clients. Obviously pay attention to the news though, too, because uh, as much as it's, it's sort of clouding. I think it, it's going to give you some really important information again for your family yeah. and um, doing bite-sized pieces. Your situation with your family's like, I have a daughter who's three years old. She just knows it's raining outside. So she's not going outside today. So she's playing inside a lot, but you have three kids who are all understanding what's going on. Yes. And, and that's harder, I think for any parent, you know, than, yeah, you know, I mean, young kids for that, sure. that see empty shelves and stuff yeah. like that. that yeah, that's no, it's, it's well, and I think that I think it's really important for you to have the conversations with your kids. I'm certain people are. I have to admit that I didn't have conversations with my children until probably like two days ago. My son just could not understand why he wasn't allowed to go have a sleepover. And, and again, he's he's nine. So you sort of think that they know, but they don't need to know. But they do need to know. They need to understand what's happening because this is going to be a huge change. Um, they also need to um, realize that I'm going to be their teacher soon too. Ooh, which is the well, you have a teacher at home, Brian White's the teacher. I do, but now. he teaches high school, so it's a little different. Yeah. I mean, we need a little bit more patience, but um, you guys yes. accomplished matching all the socks. If you're following Nicole on Instagram, they matched about what did you have? 300 socks. Day, there? You matched up? day one, we um, we matched socks. So stay tuned to what's happening uh, this coming week at the White House. But All right, uh, Gary Keller's number two point was learn to live on less. And I'm going to really emphasize that for you guys a little bit here. If you're running a team, if you have staff, um, if you, you know, are running a brokerage and you have staff, virtual employees, employees of any kind, I'm going to urge you guys all to uh, make a Make a list. What's most important to you? For me, for us, for me, Nicole, our, the most important thing for us is the employees. Okay. I will give up um, everything before I give up that. So office space, don't care, can get more of it, right? That, that, that's up there on the list of, you know, before employees. But expenses on leads, how much money are you spending on leads? that if you just got down and dirty and gritty and called old leads, called more people, called the people in your community and just reached out, that you could generate those leads anyway. Right. Don't pay for leads when you can just do the work. Anything that you were paying for that was just a convenience to make your business easier, to, to put the grease in your business. You don't need grease right now, you need grit, okay? You don't need the grease, you need to simplify over the next month, two months, your plan of expenses. You, we did this yesterday, sat down with Carolina, our ops manager, 
and we said, take it off, take it off, take it off the list, take it off the list. Nice to have, love to have it, take it off right now. We're going into a time of uncertainty and you need to protect what's most important for you, your family, your team, your business. He's talking about you know saving pennies, saving cash. Cash is super important right now, but in terms of operating your business, get rid of the expenses that you can replace with just doing more work. And you know, I don't want to go through, I mean, some of the things that we dropped because some of those businesses we want to go back and, and, right. and jump back into in a in a month or two right. when all this is over. And it's gonna be hard for those businesses, it's gonna be hard for everybody. Everybody has to do more with less. Right. I, and I think though that we're also like in this super unique time where I think that this you could actually maximize on that because you know everybody's home. You yeah. know, everyone's going to be in front of their, their computer or on some sort of social network or emailing or what have you. So I feel like it may actually be easier than some think. Well, because of, because of the fact that this isn't a hurricane and stuff like that, and we're still going to have internet and be able to communicate, you should be using that advantage. You know, if, sure. you're, if you're not using your personal Facebook profile right now, I would urge all you guys to do that. Use your Facebook personal profile that's where the people in your community are following you or wherever all the people in your community are following you use that religiously it sounds like by the way where are we nicole we're 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 not in our usual studio (laughs) we've quarantined the studio quarantine studio is on pause right now where are we we're actually at 66 high street here in um in guilford we're finishing up our sales office and um, actually, we're holding back the furniture. The furniture is ready to they're, come they're, in. I think they're they're banging at the door to we're put gonna, the furniture. We're, we're going to wrap this show up. This is this is like Nicole said to me our, our uh, latest model unit here. Fantastic project, record breaking project in New Haven County in Connecticut. We'll link this up, sixty six High Street, Got if, if you're interested in checking in, checking it out. Uh, all right, number three. His number three point was double down on leads. We sort of touched on that. Let's touch on that. I would double down on the leads that are that you already have. Yeah. Don't go buying new leads right yeah. now. Double down on your leads. Really nurture them. Really touch them all the time. Really reach out and say, "How can I serve you in this time?" Number four, lean into the market of the moment. Gary, I couldn't agree with you more on that. You need to shift. If you're in a luxury price point, if you're a luxury broker, don't be ashamed by dipping into the lower price points and doing deals where there are going to be deals to be had or vice versa. Whatever, if it's going to the next town because there's deals over, you need to do deals and there's going to be deals in the MLS that happen. There are going to be closings that happen over the course of this entire time frame that happened, you need to make sure your name is on them regardless if they are a $30,000 deal or a $30 million deal. There won't be too many $30 million deals. That's a prediction. It's another prediction on the real one. You like predicting. All right. You got anything for that? No, I'm good. The last thing we want to talk about, usually we do a marketeer where we highlight somebody. We're not going to highlight somebody this week. I'm going to go on a little rant here. Uh, One, I'm going to, we said at the beginning of the show, Couple, we were kind of joking around. Hey, we're not going to talk about it. Do you got it? Do you, does, you know, on the last show? But that was really before all this stuff it's hit. It's here. It's here now. You guys know about it. Some of the stuff I saw over the weekend in the real estate community was just downright disgusting. Hey, if you're sick of being quarantined in in your house, I'll I'll help you buy a new one. That might be funny for the broke agent to do, but if you're not a comedian, 365 days a year. Don't become a goddamn comedian right now. Become someone who's going to support your community. So what can you what messages can you send out? There's plenty of restaurants in our community doing DoorDash, doing um, you know, they shut down the restaurants here in Connecticut, but yeah. they're doing DoorDash, they're doing takeout. Every single day take it upon yourself to let people know that are following you that that are on your Facebook profile, "Hey, don't know if you know this, but uh, this restaurant over here is doing DoorDash. They're doing takeout. They've adjusted their website. We, we have a friend here locally in, in Essex, Connecticut, who had made a whole new website just to facilitate delivery takeout. Well, he he's doing grab and goes too. Grab and goes. He's grab going to goes. grab your dinner and go. He, yeah. He's doing like a market style, turning his restaurant now into a market. As real estate agents, we need to innovate in that same way. What, what can we do right now in the moment? And then we need to support those other small businesses 
that are innovating and, and making hard decisions and, and changes right now. All of our messaging should be about helping our community, not let me get, I saw one on uh, Instagram. It must have been like somebody that signs up for canned marketing, mm -hmm. you know, where like you, you have these marketing companies that are just lazy POSs and they put out canned bullshit all the time. Well, it was like on a Sunday and it was like a, a photo picture of somebody putting out an open house sign and the copy was, call me today. Let's get your, your house open house ready. Hey, bozo, open houses are going to go down. It's about a virtual open house. So don't just keep your canned marketing running, running because you look like an idiot right now. It's disgusting, it needs to stop. You need to start supporting the community. You need to start supporting your loved ones and spreading positivity on any channel that you're gonna speak to or you can just go crawl in your bed and be quiet. That's what I'm going to do when I get back. Huh? That's what you're going to do? Go on the well, bed. you got the hoodie on already. I did. Well, I'm in. <laughs> I'm jump in, right back in. I'm in like the. I'm in like the. I'm home. What do you think on tips of, of marketing right now in this environment? Um, well, I mean, I think that I, in all honesty, I don't think that I, I don't think the the way I, I still think you need to be authentic. I think yeah. that that will. Oh, I mean, I think we've so always, be yourself. If you joked around a lot. Absolutely. Then, then that might yeah. Be okay and I, and I think that I think that it, I think it's super important, though, for people to know that you don't have the answers, um, but that you are here, obviously, to support them. Um, I do. Again, I, I again, I, I posted my sock one because I did want people to know that, like, I, too, am going through like what you're going through, trying to find that was super authentic, trying that to find a way to, you know, sort of make sense of this new world. But still, obviously, you know, play it super professional, like you're saying, because, um, again, I mean, we do need to keep our businesses. And it's that kind of stuff that is very authentic to you. You've been talking about mismatched socks since the, since the day I've known you. So this has been a big Big accomplishment for you. Huge. You know, you've had mismatched socks for years Huge. at the White House. But, um, <laughs> you know, that, that's something that's very lighthearted. Like everybody's in this situation. Hey, I know you're bored at home. If you're interested in watching my virtual tour, I'm going to be putting it up at four o'clock. You get super bored. You, you've already run through Netflix three times. Check it out. That's the kind of stuff. Right. That's, the, that's how I want to position my message because I want to be very thoughtful of this time that we're in or being super helpful with um again because we're going to be having to homeschool our kids like if you can if you're finding a really great website that's super helpful or if you know anybody that's doing i know that people that are doing like like in home um sort of like webinars to yeah. teach people how to even like use a camera or to shout do out video to uh, and... bomb bomb let's link up bomb bombs link right now they're giving out their tool, which we use their tool for email video. For teachers. Free, 100% free for any teacher in this country. Uh, I don't know if it's just country restricted or what it is, but it's 100% free for all teachers. We'll link that up, share that Share that on your Facebook page. That's something that, that uh, I, I think people, I don't know the rules of like, if these teachers are allowed to reach out to their students during this time. But uh, well, it makes there's, sense. There's like a two, messages. at least in our school district, the, the the teachers are not giving any work for the first two weeks. And then mm -hmm. after the first two weeks is when they start giving work. work starts. Yeah. So it's a great tool to say, hey, hey, guys, you know, you have you can have a little whiteboard behind you as a teacher uh, on this email video. Go through, you know, three different topics and then let them go to work. It, it could be really yeah. useful. But there's a lot of companies in our space, in the real estate industry, stepping up. And uh, I just want to end with guys. Start preparing. It is okay to put in the work to be prepared for what's to come. It's okay to uh, jump out of some clubs that you were in that were costing you money. Protect your employees, protect your family, protect your business, and do leave everything else on pause. And wash your hands. And wash your hands. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. We, we talked about that last time, remember? We washing my hands the after tips. this one. We were cleaning the, the tips. tips. You yeah. sprayed. He, he well, came was, in and sprayed. You sprayed me. That as is soon still. As we I've got seen here. that on multiple things. That is still how you want to. Yeah, no, I watched tips, the video. I never. I've inside. been washing my hands the wrong way my entire life. Yeah. Oh, you know, I was like a little so like I would wash. I would no, wash the like, tips like this, but not the whole thing. And you're yeah. numbing. You're numbing it. Got to do the whole thing. Got it. All right, guys, be well. See you next be week. Safe, stay healthy. We will definitely see you next week. Even if we're on super quarantine, we'll do a Zoom. We'll figure it out. We will definitely see you next week. Please, anything you guys want us to talk about uh, or add to this conversation, put it in the comments. Stay healthy and keep it real. Bye, guys.